Hi friends of the interweb. Today I'm going to be talking about the BTK killer. Bind, torture, and kill is what it stands for. He was the oldest of his siblings and he would go on to do really horrible things. He broke in a family's home and he killed the parents and then he killed the kids. The little girl he hung in the basement and it was just really sad. But he hung her and then he just left. Then there was a mother who was really sick. She had the flu and he broke in and he told her that he was just going to sexually assault her. And her kids were there, so she was begging him not to hurt the kids. He ended up killing her, but the kids were saved because he heard a noise and ended up running. There was a sibling, and the brother was at the sister's house, and he... He broke in and he killed the sister and tried to kill the brother, but it didn't work. The brother got help, but he couldn't save his sister. And he, there was one who she was older and he broke in her house and he killed her. He waited until she come home. Then there was another older woman that he done the same thing with. So seven years would go by and there would be nothing from the BTK killer. But he would strike again. And then in this time he was a dog catcher. And... The people were to just, they would talk about how horrible he was. Some of the things he would do. He, he sent a letter to the police. And they ended up tracking him down. And he got caught. And in court. There's confessions that you can hear online. And he is still in prison to this day. That is the story of the BTK killer. Thank you guys for watching.